John Eats Cheap. You know what? Mrs. Cheap and I are back from vacation when we kind of splurged, so we got to get back to eating cheap. Here's, here's how you do it. Here's one of the ways you can do it. Number one, you know what? We just got our side of beef that we get every year. Get to know a local farmer. Ask around town if you don't know one. Most everybody knows people who farm, and uh, you know what? We've been using a farmer, known a farmer for years, and been getting a side of beef from him every year. You get we call it the real meat because this is just the best stuff. And ground beef, big old T-bones, fill the deep freeze, all right? It's, it's cheaper than buying, you know, beef at the store and it's just really good stuff, yep. And they'll be happy to do it for you. It works great with hogs too. Buy a half a hog or a hog, get it processed at a local locker. It's kind of tough right now with uh, the pandemic going on, it's tough to get appointments. Oh, another one, if you know somebody who hunts deer, they'll probably be glad to get an extra deer for you. You just buy the tag and you know what? You can get some deer meat too. That's pretty much free. Number two, shrimp and seafood. We always go to fresh thyme. This is cheap, love shrimp. These are the jumbo 16 to 20 count. So 16 to 20 per pound. Those are big ones and they're raw with the shell on. They don't have the head on them, but they have the shell on. A great price for these. Most grocery stores, you're going to see these for 10 to 15 to 20 bucks a pound. You can get these fresh time, has them on sale quite often for $10 or $9.98 for a two pound bag. So that's like $4.99 a pound. Watch the ads for the extras. Also, when you're at the grocery store, another tip check the bargain bins. Almost every grocery store has one refrigerated bin or a couple of them dedicated to reduced for quick sale. Look at this, I bought hot dogs, Nathan's hot dogs. These are four to five dollars for an eight pack of Nathan's hot dogs. The regular price, when they hit their expiration date, they'll put them into a bargain bin and I got these for a buck each. Stock up, throw them in the freezer. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Also, look at this, bacon in the bargain bin, $1.99 a pound. Ribeye steak, $4.99 a pound. And these were, these were good looking, you know, bacon and steaks. So I buy them, I stock up. Don't buy the ones that are pre-seasoned. No, don't buy, I don't buy pre-seasoned things because I'm worrying that they're trying to cover something up. And another thing I won't buy is chicken out of it. Like chicken wings, if they're marked down and reduced because they're at or past the date, uh, chicken doesn't age well. Steaks can age a little bit, eh, chicken not so much, so I don't buy that. Okay, another tip that helps, I'll check the ads and then kind of plan meals around that or Look through the freezer on Saturday or Sunday on the weekend and plan for the week and move my stuff out of the deep freeze into the kitchen refrigerator or freezer. And a uh, great way to save money. Look at what you have. You're gonna find some stuff in your freezer that you're gonna say, oh man, I forgot we had stew meat. Let's have beef stew. Great way to save money. It'll make you hungry looking through your freezer because you're gonna find stuff. Forgot I had that barbecue brisket in there. Yeah, it's a great way to save money and uh, you'll find out that you got enough food in your house to eat at home and eat well instead of maybe eating out because eating out can get really expensive really fast. Now another thing when you're at the grocery store kind of look at the prices. I'm talking mainly about meat but really anything that you usually buy I have a pretty good idea of what stuff costs when it's normal price. Then when you see the ad like this week my fairway store had the uh Bacon wrapped sirloin fillets. I mean, this is no fat. It's a sirloin fillet. Almost looks like a like a fillet mignon, and bacon wrapped, eight ounces for two ninety nine, which is a good price. So I stock up on them. Got two of them to a package. Bought three packages, and just put them in the freezer until you're gonna until you're gonna use them. Great way to save money. Buy it when it's on sale. Stick it in the freezer. So that's how I save money. Mrs. Cheap and I save money. You know, that's so we can splurge on vacation. Well, that's done for a while now. Now we're back to eating cheap. What do you do to uh, save money or to eat cheap? Leave some tips in the comments. I uh, would love to hear from you. If you got any questions, certainly leave them in the comments. We'd be happy to answer them for you. And uh, thanks for watching. Share the video with friends. Tell them how to eat cheap. And thanks for watching YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, follow us, it's John Eats Cheap.